For some ten hours after the fatal collision, the 29,000-ton liner Andrea Doria, pride of Italy's transatlantic fleet, lay like some stricken leviathan. She was steaming through a dense fog towards New York when she collided with the Swedish liner Stockholm. No lifeboats could be lured from the Italian ship, but passengers were brought to safety in lifeboats from the Stockholm and the other vessels, which were quickly on hand to help in the rescue of some 1,700 passengers and crew. The bows of the 12,600-ton Stockholm were crushed like tinfoil when she ripped into the Andrea Doria's starboard plates. But she was able to stay afloat and limp into port. The rescue operation was among the fastest and most efficient in the annals of maritime disaster. Coast Guard helicopters landed on the Stockholm to take the most seriously injured over to Nantucket Island, some 45 miles away. At least seven people are known to have lost their lives. Costing between seven and eight million pounds, and commissioned only three years ago, the Andrea Doria was believed to be unsinkable. Her tragedy is all the more pitiful for that. This, then, was her long-drawn-out agony. Not since the loss of the Titanic 44 years ago has a ship of such magnitude suffered in times of peace such a tragic fate. All the magnificence that was a ship, all the pride that was her being, all gone down.